Hello, and welcome to the video for Connect Assessment Administration. When we are done, you will see how easy it is to configure and monitor your Connect Assessment project. Connect Assessment provides web-based access to pictometry imagery, change finder data, and analytical tools via the Connect Explorer interface. The Connect Assessment application is available for customers with a Pictometry Connect account and a ChangeFinder project. This video assumes prior knowledge of Connect Admin topics. If you are unfamiliar with Connect Admin or would like a refresher, please watch our two Connect Admin videos, Creating, Managing Organizations and Users, and Uploading, Configuring, and Sharing GIS. As for Connect Assessment from an End User Perspective, please watch the video entitled Connect Assessment for End Users. ChangeFinder is a separate product that detects changes in an area that could go undetected, such as additions to existing structures, demolitions, new construction, or other real property features. The process involves comparing existing building outlines from the most current imagery to an older set of imagery to detect changes in your jurisdiction. Connect Assessment combines this project with our online Connect Explorer interface. Connect Assessment administrators can log in to this application by opening up a web browser and going to assessment.pictometry.com. Then enter the same Connect credentials that you would use for our other online applications and click either Connect Admin to go directly to the administrative page or click Connect Assessment to first view the end user interface. Once logged in to the end user interface, you can switch to the administrative page by selecting your username in the upper right hand corner and clicking Connect Admin. Before configuring your project, you should first become familiar with the three roles of varying access to the Connect Assessment application. Firstly, there are end users. An end user does not have access to any administrative functionality and can only access the main Connect Assessment interface. Only those end users with accounts in the pre-designated Connect Assessment suborganization will be allowed to access this application. The admin role can be subdivided into two types, Connect Assessment Admins and Connect Assessment Supervisors. A Connect Assessment Admin has regular Connect Admin privileges and access to the Connect Assessment configurations, such as setting review statuses, display fields, filters, searches, visual overlays, and projects. A Connect Assessment Supervisor has regular Connect Admin privileges and has access to the project dashboard, which is where the project is tracked and analyzed. A Supervisor cannot alter the Connect Assessment configurations. An Administrator can have either or both of these Connect Assessment roles depending on how you would like to set up the privileges. These privileges can only be assigned by your organization's parent administrator. To set up a user as a Connect Assessment Administrator or a Connect Assessment Supervisor, a parent administrator from your Connect organization must be logged in to Connect Admin. On the admin interface, First, select the appropriate sub-organization that houses the Connect Assessment data from the list on the left-hand side of the screen. Then, select Users from the menu of Options and click Manage All Users. Select the user from the list and click Edit User. Ensure that the user is set up as an administrator under Type and then check the box for either Connect Assessment Administrator supervisor, or both. Click Save when finished. For any user designated as a Connect Assessment Supervisor, they can now access the project dashboard. To view this, click the Connect Assessment menu option 
along the administrative menu and select Project Dashboard. This page displays a summary of the project results and is continuously updated as users modify information in the Connect Assessment interface. There are three ways to view this information. A general summary, by reviewer, or by jurisdiction. The summary page is opened by default and displays the overall project summary in both graphic and tabular forms. This summary breaks the information down by review statuses, which we will discuss later in this video, and also includes estimated value change as entered by the users. This data can be exported by selecting Download as CSV from the bottom of the page. Depending on your internet browser, you can open the spreadsheet in another program or save the file. This option is available in each of the three summary tabs. The second tab breaks down the data by end user. And the third tab breaks it down by jurisdiction. The jurisdiction will depend on the initial configuration of your ChangeFinder project. Some examples of a jurisdiction report could be a breakdown based on your school districts, tax districts, towns, municipalities, or any other kind of local data. Only one parameter may be selected for this report. The remaining options within the Connect Assessment menu are only accessible by Connect Assessment administrators. These options will affect the end user interface and how it appears and functions. Let's first discuss review statuses. An end user can manage the progress of their reviews by marking each change candidate or building outline with a review status. For example, a user could assign a status of under review, matched with CAMA, or field inspection required to a building outline. Pictometry provides six system statuses that you have the option of using or you can create your own custom statuses. These statuses should fit into your own workflow and terminology, so it is recommended that you give some thought on what these should be. By default, all six system statuses are initially included in the review status option list for selection within the end user interface. To edit these statuses, go back to Connect Admin, click the Connect Assessment menu option, and then select Review Statuses. To remove a status from the list, uncheck the box under the Include category. A status marked in the Closed column indicates the resolution or completion of the change candidate being reviewed. When a closed status is selected by the end user, they will be prompted to fill in a determination and an estimated value change based on their analysis of that particular building outline. They can also add a comment if they choose. Once this information is entered, it will then be calculated in the project dashboard. For those statuses not marked as closed, an end user will only be able to add a comment once that status is selected. If you would like to add your own custom status, click the Add Custom Status button toward the bottom and type in the status name on the following screen. You then have the option of making this a closed status and the option of including it as an available status for this project. Place or remove check marks in the appropriate boxes and then click Save. Once back on the previous screen, you can edit the status by clicking the pen and paper icon to the right of the status name or delete the status by clicking the red Delete button on the right hand side. Note that you cannot delete a predefined system status. You can simply choose not to include it in your list of statuses. Once you have all of the statuses that you would like, 
You can arrange them in your desired order by clicking and dragging the up and down arrows to the left of each review status. When all changes are complete, click Save on the bottom right corner. Pictometry recommends that all review statuses be determined prior to users having access to the project. Once a review status is used, it cannot be deleted. However, you can always choose not to show a status by unchecking the box in the Include column. The next point of configuration is Display Fields. On the Connect Assessment interface, a user can review information from the data pane when viewing a change candidate. What is shown in this section is configurable by administrators. In Connect Admin, select the Connect Assessment option from the Administrative menu and click Display Fields. All fields available for use are listed here. Some of these fields are a product of the ChangeFinder project, while some of them may be customer-provided data. For example, a client may have submitted their county parcel file and chose to have their parcel account number included. To select a field to be displayed on the interface, place a checkmark in the box beneath the Include heading. Under the Display Name column, you can edit the name as it reads in the data pane. The order of the fields can be rearranged by dragging the arrows to the left of the data field names up or down. When all changes are complete, click Save. The main way that an end user will work their way through the data in Connect assessment is by way of a filter. Filters are used to sort the change candidates into manageable projects. For example, a user might want to see all the building outlines that have been demolished from one year to another. Then, they may want to narrow that data set down to a specific school district. The filters that are available to you were determined during the initial configuration phase between Pictometry and your project administrators. To choose which filters you would like the users to have access to, select the Connect Assessment option from the Administrative menu in Connect Admin, and then click Filters and Search. From the list of field names, place a check mark beneath the Include heading to select a particular filter. Each filter display name can be edited for a better user understanding when viewing in the Connect Assessment interface. The order of the filters can be rearranged by dragging the arrows to the left of the field name up or down. To configure the list of values for a filter, click on the corresponding Configure List button to the right of the filter display name. Here you can drag the up and down arrows to reorder the filter values. Click OK when finished. Please note that some fields are not logical filters as they have too many unique values and would not fit an end user's workflow. If you select one of these fields, an error message will appear telling you that this field is unavailable as a filter. When all changes are made, click Save at the bottom. Also on this menu option, you have the ability to create a search that is specifically tied to the ChangeFinder project. This search can group change candidates together based on a field of your choosing. For example, if the user searches by a property ID number, all structures linked to that ID number will be grouped in the Actions pane of the Connect Assessment interface. The user could then step through each candidate on that one parcel. To create this search, stay on the Filters and Search page in the Connect Assessment Administrative menu, and from the drop-down list at the top of the page, select which field you would like to link structures by. Many customers opt to use Parcel ID or APN for their search option, as it best matches with how an end user would search for a property. If you have already retyped the display name for this field on a previous menu option, such as the data display, you will see your updated display name in parentheses. 
Please note that fields such as property ID should have been provided with the initial creation of the ChangeFinder project. This may not be a usable feature for all projects. Also note that this search will be separate from any previously created searches based on current GIS layers in your Connect account. When you are done, click Save at the bottom of the page. On the Connect Assessment interface, the building outlines display in various colors according to their change status. These change statuses are Unknown, Demolished, Changed, New, and Existing. These colors can be customized by administrators. In Connect Admin, Select the Connect Assessment option from the Administrative menu and click Visual Overlay. You will then see a preview of each value on this page. To modify the color of a particular change status, click the Configure button to make the necessary changes. For fill color and line color changes, adjust the base color by moving the slider bar that is on the top right up or down. Then, click Hold and drag the small black dot to the region of the square that you like the best. The horizontal slider at the bottom adjusts the opacity of the fill or the line. To exit without saving changes, click the Cancel button at the bottom. To save your desired color, click Choose. Back on the previous screen, you can also adjust the line thickness by either clicking the up or down arrows or by making a single click in the number field and retyping a different line width value. When all changes are made, click OK at the bottom. When finished with all visual overlay changes, be sure to click Save at the bottom of the page. The final option available in the Connect Assessment Administrative menu is Projects. Prior to your users having access to reviewing the ChangeFinder project, you will need to activate the project or projects that you wish them to work on. On this configuration page, all available projects will be listed. Please note that you may only have one project in this list. To activate the project, Place a check mark in the box under the Active column. This may already be done for you on your first project. Before any end users can access the ChangeFinder data, the project must be activated. You will also be able to edit the name or description of the project in the text boxes provided to the left. When all changes are complete, click Save. If there are multiple ChangeFinder projects available, they will all be listed on the projects page. You can edit, activate, and deactivate any project for the users at any time. Once multiple projects are available, you will notice a new drop-down menu at the top of each configuration page, such as display fields or review statuses. If you decide to make a configuration change on any of the administrative menu options, ensure the page is set to modify the correct project by selecting it from the drop-down menu. When a new project is activated, users will receive a message when they log in to the Connect Assessment interface. They can choose to select that project then, or they can later select the project from the Advanced tab in their Preferences menu. Thank you for watching this training module. To learn more about how to use Connect Assessment from an end user perspective, please watch the video entitled Connect Assessment for End Users.